I thought I was worth more dead than alive, and that was the truth. I thought it would relieve myself of the financial burden, and I thought it would relieve both of us from the emotional burden. Over 20 years ago, a seemingly ordinary British couple defrauded hundreds of thousands of pounds from a life insurance policy by faking a canoeing accident. Now John and Anne Darwin's story has become the subject of an ITV drama, The Thief, His Wife and the Canoe. But who is the real canoe con man? And how did his wife become complicit in the deception? John Darwin ran a business renting bedsits across County Durham until 2000, when he ran into debt and was on the verge of bankruptcy. Two years later he went missing, while canoeing off the coast of Seton Carew in Cleveland. Rescuers found no sign of Darwin and were puzzled as to how he got into trouble as the sea had been unusually calm. But his wife still received the death certificate and was able to claim £250,000 in life insurance. Anne spun a web of deceit when questioned by police, and for five years she even lied to the couple's two sons, while Darwin secretly lived in a bedsit next door. John and Anne eventually decided to start a new life in Panama City. But in a strange twist, Darwin walked into a London police station in 2007 claiming he had no memory of the past five years. Police had already suspected he might not have been dead and believed he had been using a false passport in the name of John Jones, an identity which had belonged to a baby who died in 1950. Then a photograph emerged, showing John and Anne in a Panama real estate office. When confronted, they knew their secret was out. I treated the, the, the crime as basically borrowing the money off the insurance companies. I knew I would come back one day, I knew I would have to pay the money back. I came back really because I have two sons and I wanted to be part of their lives again. The couple were both jailed for six years for the fraud, even after Anne argued that she had been coerced into the scam by her husband. The whole story might seem unbelievable, but perhaps most surprising of all is the fact that had Darwin not turned himself in, they might just have got away with it. I'll get that little piece of dandruff off. <laughs>